Hi guys, welcome to Professor's Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Alright, today we want to look at product rule and the steps involved in solving questions on product rule. So, if I have um, a question like this, the formula for product rule is, if I have y to the uv, the formula simply means v differentiates u plus u differentiate v. So I'm going to be solving it using the shortcut and the normal process. So follow me as we go. Alright, so the first question says y equals to x cubed sine theta x. So here, your u is x cubed and your v is sine theta x. So your du dx differentiates x cubed will give you what? Theta x squared. Then your dv dx differentiate this, it will give you a theory cos theory x. If you don't get how I do this, it is using the chain rule. So a video before this, you see the chain rule. So you watch chain rule, you understand how I got this theory cos theory x. Alright. So applying the formula, my dy dx is what v du dx plus u dv dx, all right? So what's my v? My v is what? Sine theta x. Multiply by d dx, what's your d dx? Theta x squared. Plus, what's your u? Your u is what? x cubed. Multiply by your d u, your dv dx, which is what? Theta cos Tx, all right. So this times this will give you Tx squared sine Tx plus this times this will give what Tx cube cos Tx, all right. So now what is common between these two? Tx squared. If you take Tx squared, this one will be what sine Tx, and if you take Tx squared, this one will be what x cos Tx, all right. So that is the process for doing this particular one. All right. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. So to the second one, to the next one, we have our y to be lean. Okay, sorry. We have it to be exponential 2x lean 5x. So yeah, this is your u and this is your what? Your v. So your du, your du dx is what? If you differentiate exponential 2x, you get what? 2 exponential 2x. Your dv dx, your dv dx, if you differentiate lean 5x, it will give you 1 over 5x. Multiply by differentiate 5x, it will give you what? 5. So that is 1 over what? x. So your dy, your dy dx is what? V, what's your V? In 5x. Multiply by your du dx, which is what? 2 exponential 2x. Plus your u exponential 2x. Multiply by your dv dx, which is what? 1 over what? x. Because this will give you 5 equals to 5, and that's 1 over what? 1 over x. So that's how we have 1 over x here. Then your dy, your dy dx will now become, multiply these ones together. So that will be 2 exponential 2x in 5x plus exponential 2x over x. So you can leave your answer this way, or you can go ahead by getting the LCM, multiply this one by x and get your final answer all right so that's how you do it all right so to the next question the next question says why why is equals to x cubed minus 2 open bracket 4 x plus 1 so your dy dx so let's apply the shortcut I'm sure you know it now. 
the simplest way to apply the shortcuts is simply by saying differentiate i mean write this first i don't know i'm saying write this 4x plus 1 differentiate this if you differentiate this what we get 3x squared plus write this s cubed minus 2 differentiate this 4 and that will give you what 12x cubed this times this will give you 12x cubed this times this will give you what 3x squared 4 times this will give you what 4s cubed 4 times this will give you what minus 8 and that give you this plus this will give you what 16x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8 so that is the shortcut it can also be applied to all these other ones so the last one is y equals to 5x squared 6 over x so to, in order to make your work much more easier you can write it like this 5x squared then put this in form of 6 x to the power minus 1 and it is the same thing all right so our dy dx our dy dx is write this one 6 x to the power minus 1 differentiate this one we give what 10x plus write this one 5x squared differentiate this one to give what minus 6 x to the power minus 2 all right so now let's do this 6 times 10 60 x raised power minus 1 in this is x x so it will become plus 1 plus 5 times this give us minus so that will become minus what minus 30 x x so i take 1 2 it will become plus minus and plus will become what minus 2 all right so this will become 60 x to the power to 0 minus 30 x to the power to 0. And then x to the power 0 is what? 1. So 60 times 1 is what? 60 minus what? 30. And that's what? 30. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and always share this video.